and, and you know that's the only issue because I listen to Bill O'Reilly, I listen to Glenn Beck, I listen to these guys, and the Fox News line politically is we need to raise a bunch of taxes to pay off the national debt. That's the conservative thing to do instead of cutting government and arresting the bankers, indicting them, investigating them. Uh, I tuned in today and this morning and heard Beck in his last hour. And I, I mean, I couldn't believe I heard it say if Obama does the right thing and goes to the center to save himself politically, he's got to watch out because he's brought all these czars into the White House that are 9-11 truthers, and the Secret Service better protect him from them. They better protect this man. So, the, I mean, the message was, it wasn't even veiled, 9-11 truth wants to kill the president? There was only one czar who signed a 9-11 petition in 2002 when he was a community organizer, Van Jones, for a 9-11 investigation. Another investigation. So because he was the only one out of all the bad things he wanted, restrictions on free speech, communism, all of it, who actually had some humanity. And so Cass Sunstein, one of the most powerful czars in the White House, he says arrest you if you question the official story of 9-11, if you question man-made global warming. I mean, whether you agree that 9-11 that is suspicious or not, you should definitely support the free speech right, the truth is, Obama pushes the 9-11 fable. He pushes the pretext for war. He pushes WMDs in Iran, just like Iraq. It's all the same. The lobbyists, the banker bailouts, the Patriot Act, the torture, the secret arrest. It's all the same. And the truth is, the operatives in the White House like Cass Sunstein and all the rest of them that talk about how they love collectivism and communism, that's just their communist walking papers. That's just their community organizer cover. Because they come into the communities and say, socialism, collectivism, communism is going to help the poor. So the poor get behind big government, not so they get some of the money. Even if you believe in communism, I don't. Doesn't, because it always, crooks always steal the money. And it's immoral. But they're not really communist. They are. I mean, notice, big banks, the big powerful governments, always put communist and socialist in. Why? Because they're for collectivism, which is what the big banks want. I mean, again, I know you as the audience know this, but we've got to get this message out to people. I mean, really, we should write a news article. Kurt Nemo, Paul Watson, Aaron Dyke, Steve Watson, somebody, or some other news website. Somebody ought to really go through and compare Glenn Beck to... Barack Obama. And the only thing they really disagree on is global warming being man-made and government-run health care. And Glenn Beck is 100% right on those issues, and it's great, and I would love... Look, folks, I'm not attacking Glenn Beck because he's got a bigger radio show than mine and a big TV show, okay? I'm not here trying to win a popularity contest. I, I, I don't like to end fight. I don't like to sit here and call people out uh, in the media and, and make a big spectacle and issue out of it. That's all everybody else does. Beck is so key to this, though, where he's been placed, the things he has done, his history, that it, that it goes against my instincts. I hate to have to go after Glenn Beck, but I know I must. You think I like going up against Obama when he was super popular? When he could do no wrong, when he was the second coming of Christ? When he had an 80-plus percent approval rating? No, but I had to do the moral thing. I knew he was a con artist and a fraud and a liar. I knew who backed him. I knew what his scams were, and I called him on it with precision. And I'm telling you, folks, I get a bad feeling many times worse than I get listening and watching Obama. There is something diabolical. There is something just truly demonic about Glenn Beck. And, again, you can go pull the clips up saying Ron Paul's a kook, saying we need to arrest 9-11 truthers, saying we're terrorists. I heard him say it again today. I never used to tune in. I would see YouTube clips. Now I'm forcing myself, and it's like going into a porta potty and opening the lid and looking in. I mean, I don't want to. And I'm having to look at this, and I'm just like, look at it. It's so fake. And Glenn Beck is going to serve a key position in bringing us into tyranny.
He is Benedict Arnold from the beginning. There is no doubt about it. He is bad news, bad news. Judge Andrew Napolitano is a great guy, never violated his conscience, uh, never wavered in his constitutional position. He's good. I mean, I wish, you know, he was the guy in Glenbeck's position, but they're not going to allow that. They let him fill in sometime, you know, and, 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 and have his own show on smaller parts of the business network because they know it's super popular. You know, they want that audience of people that are awake, but they also want to control that audience. And look, I'll just tell Glenn Beck, and I'll come back and take your calls. Stop it, man. We see what you're doing. Even if you lose your contract, stop stabbing us in the back. And stop saying 9-11 truthers are going to kill Barack Obama. I mean, come on, man. You agree with Cass Sunstein that we're the number one enemy because you guys know what really happened on 9-11.